Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Senator Aaron Cheriot made an attack on media and uh, banks in this country. Remember, when we are talking about Aaron Cheriot, this is not Cheriot We are talking about the majority leader in the Senate. A man who normally take papers, the bills that have been passed in the Senate, to the State House for William Samuel Ruto to pen his signature on those papers. A man who normally meet with the president directly. When the president has a bill, Ruto has a bill and a petition for the Senate, he will reach out to Arun Cheriot. That means Arun Cheriot has a direct communication with William Samuel Ruto. And just listen to the statement from Arun Cheriot. President William Samuel Ruto will succeed in crushing every cartel in the country, save for two that are extremely powerful. Number one, Kenya banks. Number two, Kenya media. Both are very powerful, influential, and synergize to synergize so well to protect each other's interest. For public good, a way must be found. Which public good? <laughs> Is there any way media has negatively affected the public? That is the question. As if that was not enough. He continued today after media reacted to his sentiment. Remember, that tweet was for yesterday. Now, today, this is what he's saying. So powerful are the cartels in our media house that when I called them out today, NTV Kenya dedicated over 10 minutes of prime time twisting on it. That's how they buy their freedom and silence critic. Ethical media practice died in Kenya and we must fight to restore it. That is William Samuel Ruto's majority leader in the Senate. Look the kind of language he's using to address the media. The arrogance. It tells you something. Who is behind Cheragay? Not Cheragay, uh, Arun Cheriot. It means he has the blessing of someone powerful in this country who is telling him now it's the time to deal with the media. We want to deal with the banks. Look at that. So many questions Kenyans are raising after this kind of statement coming from someone in the government of William Samuel Ruto. As we continue with this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. One thing that William Samuel Ruto and the Kenya Kwanda people have refused to understand is that we are operating on a 2010 constitution. We moved a long time ago from the Nyayo era of all powerful president, Mutukufu Rais Elisha. These people are living in the Nyayo era, but they don't understand that we have the 2010 constitution which moved from that kind of situation. Many Kenyans suffered in the hands of Nyayo. They were celebrating because Rift Valley was largely protected. And these were people who were biggest beneficiary when Kenyans were suffering. They want to bring that syndrome in this new era. And I said in the morning, indeed, in this government, 
we have the living and the breathing moi of our times. That man is William Ruto. When Chalaregei is speaking, he is speaking on behalf of William Ruto. This is a senior leader in the Kenya Kwanza government. He speaks for them in the Senate. So when he speaks, Kenya Kwanza is speaking. UDA is speaking. And so William Samai Ruto is communicating to Kenyans. I wonder if they have a problem with the media. Then we have media council. Let them launch their problem to the media council. If not, they also have another chance. Take those specific media houses to the court and sort out the issue. Ruto want media to glorify him and the Kenya Kwanza government. They don't want anyone who is questioning their character. Look on how Gashago has been arrogant to the media. And I'll tell you one thing. They are not lucky. The reason is that the day media is going to blink and lie on the same bed with this government, that is the time they will lose the confidence from Kenyans. Because they are in a competition here where we have now the social media, where we come in now. Whatever they will not say, we will come here and say. Other people will come and say. Facebook is a tool. YouTube is a tool. Twitter is a tool. TikTok is a tool. And many other platforms. So they will not look at the KBC. Why is KBC not getting out? Why is it dying? Because they have to sing the government music. They cannot grow. They say they will make it a number one station. But it will never be because they will always want to be in the line with the government. You cannot. Media is a mirror of the family, of a society. I wonder, instead of Ruto and his government helping media, because media has done a great job here to expose the dirty activities happening in this country, including investigative journalism. They have done a lot. They risk, they use resources to do such kind of investigation, including to expose some of the police officers so that government will take right measures towards such people. They have exposed so many things, but the guy cannot see anything good from media because they are calling out William Ruto, because they are exposing them, because they speak the truth. They want the media to lie. Unfortunately, we moved a long time from the Nyayo era. This living and breathing moi of our time will not succeed. He will not. Any media that will go into that direction, it will die. It will sink. And they understand. That's why they will not agree to go in that direction. No matter how Ruto want to do it. And by the way, who are the owners of media and these banks that uh, uh, Aaron Chiroti is talking about? Because again, we want to look into these people. We are talking about Moy. That is Gideon Moy is here. He was in Azmio. We are talking about SK Macharia. He was here. And the other day he said that he will continue to support Raila Mono Dinga in the Azmio side so that Kenyans will have the interest taken care of in whichever way. So for him is there to help Raila Mono Dinga propel his agenda. We are talking about the Kenyatta family. They are also running another media house. So, Ruto understands that these people might not sell his agenda the way he would want it. That's why it's fine. See, he appears and says, Yak. Ara Cheriot, a conhaki, a conhaki, a conhaki. What I say, to one that comes, they will be singing the government song if they will grow. Let them sell their own media houses. Who are the owners of banks? They are fighting Kenyatta family. So, just mention them direct. Because they have learned that it is not making sense as of now to continue mentioning Uhuru Kenyatta, Uhuru Kenyatta. 
People are not buying into this Uhuru Kenyatta song. They have rejected, they know you people. Now they are twisting to start talking about other things, like indirectly attacking the same family, but by going through their businesses. Ata huu shebana mwenye walikuwa na hewa kilonji ya mambo ya houses huko Nairobi, is running a business. Is it Gulf Bank? Something like that. That's your ban. So those are the people they are targeting. And by the way, why are they working with them? Sababu Ruta alimpea hii contract ya kujenga nyumba hapa. Ni kwa nini? And we know where the percentages are going. These people want media to glorify them. They don't want media to point out mistakes. And by the way, they were, sometimes they even force them to sing the song so that they will get this contract. Advertisement. Fanyina advertisement zenyu kwa KBC. By the way, even Uhuru Kenyatta tried this thing. Using Fred Matiang. It failed. You have to go back and check. It failed. Ruto is trying. Ruto must fall. You cannot gag the media. It's the only tool that is remaining here to help Kenyans air out their views. They don't want people to talk about drought. They don't want people to talk about those who are dying from hunger. They don't want people to talk about the corruption. They, they don't want people to talk about the issue to do with the, you know, breaking of the law and the They don't want these issues to come out. That's why they're targeting them. They want to bring some people's business down and they want an except good. There will be no an except good for this government. Fanyeni kazi yenyu bwana. 